how to train your brain for weight loss. If only it was as simple as you need to eat less and move more in order to lose weight and get fit. The truth is, it's not that simple. If you really want to get in shape and stay that way, you need to start at the top with your brain. Changing your brain takes some work, but the benefits of retraining your brain to think thin are proven by science. So leave a one if you're joining me here live or a two if you're catching me on the replay. The good news is I have some simple steps for you to be in the right frame of mind and have the mental toughness to take on the challenges that show up inevitably in your weight loss and fitness journey. So let me know where you're joining me from. I'm out here in Marina Del Rey today trying something new. I'm Lisa G. This video is about how changing your mindset can help you think yourself thin. So let me know in the comments if you have ever tried to work on your mindset before. And by the end of this video, you'll have five simple strategies to start thinking yourself thin. How do you do that? Let's jump right in. The first strategy is to picture yourself thin. Decide today to develop the body of your dreams. Visualize your future self six months or a year from now and think of how good you'll look and feel in your dream body. Look for pictures in magazines of people with bodies you'd like to have and tape them up so you can see them every day. Build this image into your mind and expect it to happen. This will drive you to behave in ways that lead you to your expected result. Imagine how an Olympian would visualize themselves up on the podium and take your goals that seriously. And at the same time, strategy number two is you need to have realistic expectations. The best way to train your brain for new routines and habits is to start as small as possible. Here are some examples of small steps. Eating more vegetables every day, getting some kind of physical activity for at least 30 minutes a day. Let me know in the comments if you guys are already doing any of this. Number three, only drinking alcohol on the weekends. Four, try popcorn instead of chips. Five, ordering a salad instead of the fries. Strategy number three is to get support. Contact a friend or coach or family member. Ask them to be on your support team. Weekly, you want to check in because it's easy to quit when you're on your own. But letting down a coach who cares about your success is a different story. Studies prove you do better connected with others than trying to go it alone. Strategy number four is create a detailed action plan each week. You need to plan your healthy meals and fitness, put it in your calendar, and planning ahead is 80% of the battle. Now with that, you're equipped with a detailed plan and your results will follow. Schedule your fitness routine like you would any other appointment. Pack up nuts, veggies, or healthy meal replacement shakes so you won't be tempted to eat the wrong kinds of foods. You guys know what I mean, right? And finally, strategy number five is keep track. Weigh in regularly, use apps or journals, if you track what you eat, how much you exercise, your weight, and your measurements, studies show that keeping track of this information helps promote positive behaviors and minimizes the unhealthy ones. Imagine simply knowing you're tracking your food intake can help you resist that piece of cake. Journals and apps create accountability and reveal which strategies are working. When you're accountable, you're less likely to have the fall asleep at the meal plans. So here's the takeaway. If you've had trouble losing weight, 
find yourself jumping from plan to plan with little to no results, just stop beating yourself up. Make the decision that this time it's going to be different for real. Focus on your mindset. And if you want to reap the rewards of better health and a better body, it all starts in your mind. I'm Lisa G reminding you that you are the CEO of your health. And tonight, I want to acknowledge all the winners in my Bounce Back Better Challenge that just ended last week. And I'll check all the comments and reply later. So thank you for coming. First place is Marissa Barr. The grand prize, the second place is Janet Clark. Third place, Corey Mack. Fourth place, Senia Munchnik. And fifth place is Mia Altieri. So I will see you guys next week.